Hello, physiotherapist and Pilates instructor. Welcome to my class today. For today's class, you don't need any equipment, um, preferably no dog in the way, and yeah, it's just a pure Pilates class, which is... Okay, let's get started. We're just going to roll the shoulders, loosening off. That's it. So with anything in class today, if anything is sore, make sure you come out of that position. Okay, don't hurt anything, rolling the shoulders forward. Um, it's quite a sort of floor-based class today, so I think you should all be fine. Quite a lot of glute exercises, which are great for back, hip and knees and ankles. Good. Okay, you're going to bend with knees, soften the knees and swing your arms. Let's warm up like this. I love this exercise. It feels so nice. And swing. As you can tell, I do it every day. <laughs> and swing. Good. Just go two more. And one more. Nice. Shake out the wrists. Shake out your ankles. We're going to start with a dynamic warm-up. So you're just going to copy me. You're going to pull your knee up to your chest. And then change sides. We're going to do three each side. I mean alternating. And you just hold for about a second. And down. So when you start exercise, we never do static warm-ups anymore. We always do dynamic warm-ups. Because that gets the body ready for movement. Hold under the leg and under the knee and pulling up. And change. Good. And change. Three each side. That's lovely. Nice. One more each side. And pull it up as high as you can so you get a nice stretch. Good. Then grab your foot behind you. Knees together. Reaching up. Tuck the pelvis in. And change sides. Good. And change. Really make sure that you tuck your pelvis under. Squeeze so you get the stretch on the front of the hip. Same side, good. One more each side. On this last one, you can hold it here or you can reach forward. And coming up. And change sides. Last time, reaching and having a nice stretch if you want to. Good. From here, you're going to cross your right leg over your left and reach down to the floor. Relax your head. And then coming up and change sides. And reach down. And up, other side. Reach. And change. Good. When you come up in the middle, make sure you open up the chest. Turn the palms upwards so you get a nice little stretch. And down one more time each side. And last time. Good. Have your legs nice and wide. Really nice and wide. And you're going to slide down. As you slide down, think of keeping your back nice and straight. So you always want to hinge at the hips. And then swishing forward and round the other side and up. And down. Down that left leg and round all the way. Stick your bottom out. And up. Good. Two. And up. I love the way that my dog figure now just lies at the step. Fast asleep in the whole class. <laughs> It's a spot. And other side. Good. Right. Stay there with nice wide legs. And you're just going to do a little lunge. Make sure you stick your bum back so your weight is through your heels. Good. It's not a low lunge. I don't want you feeling any pain. If your knees hurt, turn your feet out. And that might help a little bit. Nice. Now if you can, put your hands on the floor. And keep lunging. This stretches out the inner thigh a little bit more. Drop your bottom down if you can. Nice. And now in two, we're going to add the arms. Where you touch opposite hand to foot and you twist. Nice. Breathing out as you twist. Try and keep a little bit of a thoracic twist as well. Look at the other side. For five. Three, two, very nice. One, that's lovely. Curl your feet in towards each other. And from here, you're going to curl up one vertebra at a time. Nice. Arms up above your head. And you're going to fall down and up. Almost sweeping the floor with your hands. And up. And breathing out. And up, lovely. Get a nice warm up. And 
stand up. Very good. Keep going. I'm just going to start my watch. If you need your discovery point. Good. Two more. And up. And last one. And up. Very nice. Let's start on the floor. This is still part of our warm up. But it's for hip mobility. So you're going to start sitting with your hands behind you. And legs quite wide. So your feet are nice and wide, wider than your hips. And you're going to drop your knees down to one side. And then up and over and down to the other side. Lovely. Leaning back on your hands. So this is a really nice mobility for the hips. And it's a dynamic mobility. So this part is quite easy. And it's very nice just to loosen up that joint capsule. And now you're going to keep the hands up in front of you if you can. And keep going. You'll find yourself moving forward. Don't worry. Just scoot yourself back. Tummy stays in because the tummy actually now helps you a little bit bringing the knees over. Very nice. Two more. Good. And one more. Now you're going to hold it here. And if you can, come up onto both knees. Squeezing the bottom. If it hurts your knees, just hold it there. And then we're going to go to the other side. And either hold it there or come up and squeeze the bum. We're just going for three each side. Nice. Don't worry. Christina, you can just keep going side to side. And down. And up. Really squeeze the bum as you're coming up. And down. One more each side. And squeeze and lift. Lovely. And down. Time up to use your hands. And up. Very nice. We're going to stay on this side. So you're going to stay with your legs here. You're going to put your hands on either side of your front knee and slide that back knee back a little bit away from you. That's it. Keep the knee bent still. From here, lean forward onto your hands, tummy in, and we're going to lift that back leg off the floor. Try and keep your knee and foot in the same line. That's it. So it works with glute knees. Let's go for five. Four, tummy in. Three. Two, we're just activating this muscle before we work it. One, hold it up there, pulse it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's raining. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Stay there and just reach your arm over away from the way that knees are pointing. It's a lovely stretch here. And try and stretch over a little bit more. And now from here, just start rotating your shoulders to the floor. Reach that arm forward. Really reach, 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 reach. And let's change sides. Roll the knees to the other side. So from here, hands in front of your front knee. Slide this leg back a little bit. That's it. Leaning forward onto your hands. Tummy pulled in. And you're going to lift that back leg up and down. Breathe out to do this and really feel it squeezing in your glute here. That's it. Try and keep your knee and your foot the same height. Perfect. Five more. Very good. Four. Squeeze. Three. Tummy in. Two. One. Hold it up there. Pulse up. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten and down. Very nice. Take that arm and reach over. Such a lovely stretch all the way up. We very rarely have grown up ever stretched sideways and actually it's so important. Now from here, rotate your shoulders towards the floor and reach that top arm away so you feel even more of a stretch. Very nice. And now you're going to come up from there into a high plank going into a downward dog. Let me just fix my top so I don't flash everything to everyone. Right. So you're in a nice downward dog. Try from here. Think of extending your back. Have you pulled in and dropping your heels down to the ground. Very nice. So, two options. We're going to go single leg. We're going to bring the knee in. And you're either going to reach that other leg up and you go back into a downward 
downward dog, or you can just put it down and do a downward dog with both legs. So we're going to go knee in and alternate sides, either straight into a downward dog or lift it up. Let's go. Right knee in, into a plank, and then lift or straight into just a plain downward dog. Left side, knee in, and lifting up straight, open up the hips, and down, right side, lovely, try and drop the hips into a plank, and lift, down, four, that's it, keep going, and down, we're doing ten, knee in, and reach up, and down, knee in, that's it, reach up, and down, two more each side, make put your tummy in and breathe, and down, lift, knee in, and reach, open up the hips, you can twist, one more each side, knee in, and lift, and down, last one, knee in, reaching up, and down, good, stay there in a downward dog, or in a child's pose, that's absolutely fine, so our next exercise, we're going to stay there, you're going to bring your knee in, and from here, you're just going to lift the hips up and down, okay, so, Sorry, I'm having huge top issues. <laughs> okay, so from here, nice high plank, shoulders down and back. Bring your right knee in. Make sure it's parallel to the floor. Now lift. Just lift the bum. Try and lift the leg away from the floor. For five more. Four, beautiful. Two. And one. Very nice. Going to down with us. Take the pressure off your arms. Now let's do the left knee. Bring the left knee in. Parallel to the floor and lift. One. Coming in. Three. Four. Six. Coming in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And down. Relax. Take it into child pose. Relax your arms. Very nice. Okay, we're going to come into a side. So we're going to get into a half side plank with the legs. So once we're up, we're going to be in this position. Knee to elbow. Okay, make sure this leg stays parallel to the floor. We're going to go for 10 and then drop our hips up and down for 10. Let's go. In three, make sure your elbow's on your shoulder. Lift up from here. Three, two, one, lift the hips, lift the leg. Let's go, knee to elbow. Make sure it goes to the side, two. Crunch in here, lovely. Four. Five, when you lengthen that leg up, keep it level. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, hold it out there, hips go down and up. Two. Three, four, five, I can do whatever you want. Six, seven, woo! Eight, nine, squeeze, ten, four, and relax. Very nice. Good. We're going to come into a high plank in between to break it up. And from here, you're going to step out and in. Out and in. So hold a beautiful plank. And you just step the one leg out, step the other leg out. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. Shoulders down and back, coming in. Step. Two. Three, coming in. Four. Five. Six, shoulders down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. And now we're going to the other side. We just have to break up the side positions. Because going straight from the one to the other is quite hard because both sides work. So from here, half side plank, knee to elbow, and then hips up and down. And then we're going to work the bum. I promise we'll get 
other arm. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. And out. Make sure you put your belly button in. And use your obliques. Squeeze. Five. Try to have that leg parallel to the floor. Four more. Three. Coming in. Two. Whew. One. Hold it there. Hips go down and up. Two. Three. Try and keep this leg up. Four. Five. Squeeze. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Oh, well done. You made it. Good. We're going to come and stand up. Just to give our arms a little bit of a rest. So from here, we're going to do slow and controlled, a squat and a knee lift without falling over like I just did. So, so Christina, see if you can do a very gentle squat. Even if you just get to there, tummy in, don't go down too low. For the rest of us, we are going to drop down. And as we bring the knee up, you pull your belly button in and you twist. Let's go. Squat. Nice and slow. Two. Good. Three. As you're breathing out, you use your abs to pull that knee up and twist. Make sure your weight goes back and twist. So when you squat, your weight is through your heels. Good. And your knees stay facing forward. Temptation for some people, their knees to go in. They must stay facing forward. You've got four more. Very nice. Weight back. Have your weight back through your heels. One more each side. Coming in. And squat and last one. Very nice. We're going to stay standing on your left leg. And from here we're going to do a reach and tuck. So you're going to come into a capital T position and you're going to squeeze almost like you're doing a crunchy and reaching out. So this is almost like an ab exercise. We're going to go for 10. Let's go in 3, 2, 1. You reach and tuck. So balancing on that left leg. And tuck. As you straighten out the arms and legs, imagine someone's pulling you from your arms and your legs away from each other so they lengthen and as you come in you crunch coming in five more four stretch and crunch three this is lovely and slow two and one last one very nice come up have a little stretch Reach down to the floor with your knees. And let's change sides. Now I'm going to stand on my right leg. Make sure you're not feeling it too much in your back. If you do feel it in your bottom or in your stomach, okay? So from here, when you reach, I want you to imagine someone's putting your arms and your feet away from each other. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. We're going to reach. And tuck like a crunchy. And reaching away. And in. Three. It balances the foot. You can see my ankle is shaking. Five. Stretch. And in. Six. Reach. And tuck. Beautiful. Seven. Lovely. Eight. And nine, coming in. Last one, ten. And fall down to the floor. Drop your arms on the floor. Nice. And curling up. Very good. Let's lie down on the ground. Like you know, sorry. We're going to kneel. Lying on the ground later. So we're going to come into kneeling. And we're going to do the fire hydrant and the donkey kick. All the variations, so we're really working our butt. So, on all fours, in this position, shoulder blades pulled down the back, 
pulling your tummy in away from the floor. And we're going to just go with our right leg first. We're going to go up and down. Let's go in three, two, one. Knee up and down. Try and have your weight evenly on both hands. Don't put all your weight on your left hand. Tummy in. Shoulders down. Five more. Very good. Four. Nine. Three. Two. One. Hold it up there. You get this pulse. Two. Make sure the pulse isn't up. Four. Five. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And very good. Straighten out that right leg. So the same leg we've just been working. Make it nice and straight directly out to the side. And now we're going to lift that leg up and down. It's not going to go very high. So you're literally going to lift it up and down. Let's go. Breathing out to lift. And down. Tummy in. Try and keep your weight evenly. If this is too hard and you actually can't lift the leg at all, go back to bend knee. Okay, we've got four more. Coming in. Three, control it down. Two. And one. Very nice. Bend the knee. We're going to go straight into knee donkey kick. Up. And bring the knee back down. With this, you're going to jack squeeze from the bum. Keep your tummy pulled in. Don't arch the back. Your foot goes that's perfect. Foot up to the ceiling. I want your bum and your hip doing it. Good. Let's go for five more. And four. Squeeze. Three. Two. And on this last one, hold it up there. You get that we're going to pulse. Jack from the bum, the back stays still. Push the foot to the ceiling for five. Four, tummy in. Three, two, one. Woo, well done, come back into child's pose. So that actually hurts the stabilizing bum more than the one that's working. So in case you're worried that you're not feeling in the right place, I feel it's more on the leg that's actually holding than the one that's doing the work. Right, other side. So this is now the hard side because now the other one's tired already. Okay, from here, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in, weight evenly on both hands. Let's go, fire hydrant. Lifting up and down. Tummy pulled in. Three, lovely. Four, tummy in. Five, shoulders away from your ears. Six. Eight, very nice. Nine, remember we've got a pulse. Ten, hold it up there. Let's pulse up for one, two, four, breathe out. Five, seven, eight, nine. Ten, very nice. Straighten that leg out to the side. So now my leg is dead straight. If it's too hard with a straight leg, you can keep it bent. Weight evenly on your hands. Let's lift up and down for ten. Let's go. Coming in. Two. Do it slow and controlled. Three. Four. Five. Six. Beautiful. Seven, tummy in, eight, nine, ten, very nice, bend, and let's go into donkey kick. Keep your back nice and still. And breathing out and squeeze, tummy in. Make sure you don't arch your back. Five more. Four, beautiful. Three, two, tummy in. One, hold it there, let's pulse. One, two, coming in. Three, four, not moving your back. Six, eight, nine, ten, and well done. Come back into child's pose. Shoo-wee. 
going to change position a little bit just to give a bit of a break. We're going to come into long sitting. Hands behind you. Fingers facing your bottom. And we're going to do the reverse plank. So you're going to lift up. And down. Okay, when you do this, make sure your knees stay straight. And you're pushing through your heels. So just, we've done all the movements for just sort of crunching and now we want to open up the other way. So, hands behind you, pointing at your bottom. If your wrist gets too sore, you can turn them around. On a breath out, you're going to pull your belly button in. Push through your heels and lift your bottom up. Look at your toes and make sure you push the floor away. Don't sink. And down. Good, breathing out to come up, let's go. Lift up, squeeze your bottom. Okay, sorry, let's go, we've got two more. Lifting up, squeeze, and down. And last one, lifting up. Now hold it there if you can. We're gonna go for 10, bring your knee up to your chest. So now you're pushing through that heel. Lift, and lift. Good. Keep going. Six. Don't sink. Tummy in. Seven. Eight. Nine. You're nearly there. Ten. Phew. Well done. And roll out those wrists. Very, very good. Okay. We're going to go into side lying. Lying on the floor. So, from here. You're going to lie down and we're going to do the thigh hydrant in line now. So now your hips are bent at 90 degrees in front of you and knees bent at 90 degrees. From here, hand on the floor, tummy pulled in and you're going to lift the leg up and down doing the thigh hydrant. And down. Make sure you don't roll the hips right back. So you don't want to go all the way back. Keep the hip bones facing forward. And down. And squeeze. Five more. Beautiful. Tummy in. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it up there. We pulse. One. Two. Try and squeeze. Three. It's a little movement. Four. Five. Six, tummy in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we touch knee, toe, knee, toe. Good. Eight more. Tummy in. Seven, six. Squeezing that bum. Five, four, tummy in. Three, two, and last one. And put that leg in front of you. Pat out the bum. Very good. So in between, we're going to lie on our back and go into a little bit of abs. So from here, legs in tabletop. Hands behind your head. Coming up. Make sure you put your belly button in. Look at your tummy. And we're going to do a big twist for three and then roll. So we're going to go one, Two, three, roll to the side, controlling it with my obliques, and back. Let's go. One, two, three, lift your tummy, and roll, and back. Try and use your obliques. Twist. Two, three, lift your tailbone, roll to the side, use your obliques to bring you back. Nice. Twist. Two, three, roll, and back. We've got two more. One, two, three. Beautiful, guys, and roll. You'll roll on the elbow, but your abs are taking you back. Last one. One, two, three, roll, and back. And hug your knees into your chest. Well done. Right, side lying, other side. Lie on the side, hips bend up to 90. 
90, knees at 90. And from here, hand in front of you, we're going to do the fire hydrant. Put your belly button in. Let's go, lifting up. And down, make sure your hips stay facing forward. And down, squeeze the bones. Three. Good job, guys. You're rocking it. Four. Five. Beautiful. Breathe out as you lift. Feel the burn. Six. Don't roll back. Tummy in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it there. Pulse. One. Two. Three. Relax the shoulder. Four. Five. Tummy in. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're going knee. Toe. So you're twisting at the hip. This is working the rotators. And three. Tummy in. Four. We need you there. Five. Six. Seven. Woo, friends. Eight. Beautiful. Nine. Control it. Ten. And relax the head in front of you. Cut out the bone. Well done. Very good, guys. We've just got some abs to go. So you're going to come and lie on your back. We nearly there. Arms by your side. Legs come up into tabletop. Make sure from here you lift your tailbone. So you tuck your tummy in. And just doing leg swaps. So you're going to breathe out as you swap. You tap and breathe out. Swap the legs in the air. Make sure... You only go down as low as you can without arching your back. And it's a hip movement. So your angle at the knee stays the same. Beautiful. Lift your tailbone. And breathe out. Four, five. Good, keep going. Four. Three, tummy in, lift your tailbone. Two, no saggy jaws. One. Hold the legs in tabletop, arms up to the ceiling. We're going to do the dead bug. Opposite arm and leg, lengthen. And breathing out, come back. And breathe in and out. When you lengthen the leg away, make sure you don't arch your back. Your stomach still stays connected and your tailbone is lifted. If you only straighten your leg to there, that's perfect. There's no pressure. Make sure your back stays on the mat. Five more. Four. Tummy in. Three. Beautiful. Two. One. Very nice. Stay there. Hands behind your head. And we're going to crunch up with the leg staying there. So breathe out to come up. And breathe in to come down. Breathing out. Make sure your chin goes onto your chest. And in. Five more. Four. Very nice. Keep going. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Open the knees. Stay up there in a crunch. And now you're going to side bend. You're going to go sideways. So you're literally shortening at the side. Let's go for 10. Squeeze. 9. So I'm staying up and just twisting at the side. Trying to make each side shorter. Lift your tailbone. And squeeze. 4. 5 more. 4. Tummy in. 3. You should feel the sides. One. And hug those knees into your chest. Well done. Very, very nice. Last one we're going to do. We're going to do a bleak twist again with the roll. So just one more set. Hands behind your head. Lifting up. We're going to go twist. Two, three. And roll. Okay, let's go. Two, three. And roll. Make sure you keep your tailbone tucked under. One, two, three, and roll. One, two, three, and roll. Use your abs to bring you up. Four more. Two, three. Your abs should be burning. And come up. Three, two, 
done, guys. Straighten it up. We're just going to do two roll ups just to stretch out the back. So from here, you're going to breathe in and breathing out. As you breathe out, squeeze your inner thighs, curling up, using the abs, and you're going to reach forward. Now, normally when we reach forward, I tell you to stay up and over, but I actually want you to relax into a stretch. As much as you can, just relax. And now curling down, one very first time, using the abs, pulling in, tuck that pelvis more, and down. One more like that, breathing in, and breathing up. Use the abs, curling up, and reach forward and relax. And hold it there, getting a lovely stretch. And then curling down, one very spread at a time. Last little bit of abs working. Well done. Take your right knee and pull it across you. Stretching out that back. Look at your right hand. And stretch, that's lovely. Good, bringing it back. Hold both knees into your chest, rock side to side, and straighten out your right leg, and pull that left knee over. Lovely. Good, both knees into your chest, and roll like a ball to come up, head up, and rolling up. Very nice, and come into sitting. Just going to roll those shoulders out. You survived. We did it. Rolling the shoulders. Good. And look to your right and to your left. Just stretch out the neck. Nice. And then go sideways so you get a nice stretch here. Kind of go ear to shoulder. Good. You might hear a few little kicks and cracks. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Well done. You